First time. Guys, glad to have y'all here. Welcome to Limbo Caverns. My name is Rachel and I'm your tour guide. Limbo Caverns is an active limestone cavern, which means that the formations inside are still growing and forming, so you can't touch any of the natural walls or formations. That would cause the colors to go and the formation growth to slow because the oils and salts on your skin. And we have a couple other rules of your drinks or smoking inside. Pictures are allowed and you can use flash for pictures, but not for video. And if you have a flashlight, you can't use that, so no continuous lighting. This mountain is called Humpback Mountain. And the two openings above the door are where the bats fly in and out those mm. bad doors. Inside, there are a lot of low hanging rocks. So make sure you're looking out for those throughout the whole door. But I'll point them out to make sure no one looks their head, because that's no very good thing. And just to warn y'all, it's a little wet and drippy in there. It's not too bad, though, but it'll get dripped out a little. So I'm going to go ahead and unlock the door. And then y'all will go on right in. And y'all at the front are going to go until we get to the orange coat, and then we'll stop there. This is why we did this. Wow. Oops. Dripping water. <laughs> Uh, 
Um, there's actually, where well, I believe it's a sign salamander, they're black on the white dots, so there's a tiny one up here that I'll show y'all. Um, yeah, I love salamanders. Yeah, we've had, we've had different kinds. I can't remember the other ones. We had one really big salamander in here, the syndrome. So there's a fungus in here, and it does not affect humans. You don't have to worry about that. But it's fatal to the bats. And this fungus is all over. It's even found on other continents, and there's no cure for it. So sadly, it's really causing the numbers to drop, but there's not a whole lot we can do about it. The only thing that we can do is keep on from spreading it. So at the end of the tour, I'll spray a mat with a bleach solution, and I'll get y'all to step on it to make sure you don't spread it. So the bats come in here to hibernate during the winter time, normally from about October to April, depending on the weather. But we actually have one bat that stays in here all year round, not just during the winter time. His name is Wally, and he came all the way from Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Wally from Walmart, and he's just here to make sure that <laughs> everyone can say they've seen yeah. a bat if there's not a real one in here. And sadly, I don't believe there is a real one. I have not seen one in here in a while. So Wally's is all you get. That spider's real though. That is a cave or a beaver spider below his wing there. <laughs> yes, yeah, below his wing. And before we head on, you can check out this glowstone formation up here that looks kind of like that. All right, so y'all can follow me this way. Alright, so I'm going to come through here and 
the bottom and then after that we had some divers go down and they only made it about 20 feet they couldn't go very far because it is so narrow so we actually don't know how deep the water is we just know it's at least 250 feet and if any of y'all are interested there are pictures of those divers in the gift shop so before we head back check out these stalactites up here <laughs> Oh, you are going that way. Cool. All right. Milk. I know. And so this is from 
minerals in the water. The water that comes down has different minerals in it that cause different colors. So this white is from, anyone want to guess what mineral? What's in your bones and teeth? Calcium. Yes, so this is from calcium. Uh, we have different colors in here from different minerals. If y'all look up here, you'll see curtains. So I'm going to come through here. Y'all are going to follow me again. Up here, watch out for that rock on your right and the coast on your left. Slimy looking thing. Thank you. 
Sorry.